Let's party like it's 1983. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely partying like it's 1983. Welcome to day one. I have come to the conclusion that I have a vacuum leak stemming from the carburetor. I mean, it has many other issues besides not really being tuned properly. But one thing I'm going to try today to help the fact that it has such a bear of a time starting that's to say nothing of the fact that it barely cranks. I don't know what that's about. Maybe a bad ground, maybe a shitty starter, maybe a weak battery. Either way, let's go in here and take a peek. Uh, like Mr. Regular says, in order to work on this engine, you have to climb into it and pay tribute to it. So this vacuum brake here, or vacuum pull-off, which would normally, as the engine builds up vacuum while it's running, would push in, and you can see the link, the, or the lever, actually pulling the primary open a little further, but mine is completely shot. It leaks vacuum and doesn't do the job, so I imagine that if this thing leaks vacuum and it doesn't do its job, then that equals shit engine performance. So I bought a new one. I hope that it matches. Right off of eBay. About $30. Not a bad price considering. Some other place I've seen it for like $70. This is a... The carb is a Rochester Quadrajet by the way. Four barrel. I don't think mine has this little nipple or whatever you want to call it. Or, well, it's a little bit different anyways. I think it mounts all the same, which is good. But I'll be putting this vacuum hose on here, whereas on mine, it goes on here. Again, I don't really know what this is. Whatever. Um, problem number one, I don't think I have any Torx bits, or I used to, but I lost them, so... Off to the store we go. All right, just went and bought this perfectly good Chinese ratcheting screwdriver. Oh, maybe I'm being too harsh on it. It is quite nice, handy. All right, let's pay ultimate tribute to this by going in. Oh boy, let's remove this linkage here. I don't know if that it was in the right way to begin with. It's like way too easy to remove, but whatever. But yeah, I already undid the vacuum hose. It was here, so just pop that off. Got a T20 on it sitting right now. Seems right. Easy as that. In linkage on the secondary and here. I mean, I think that's right. Seems like it'd be really easy for it to fall off, but what do I know? All right, a vacuum hose. Pop that right in. Nice, same nipple size, same everything. All right, that's good. The other thing I wanted to, to adjust while I'm, well, while I'm in here, I wanted to maybe advance that fast idle screw, because I dicked around with it not really knowing what it does some other time. But now that I know what it does, I might be able to make a more educated decision about it. Oh. As far as I know, this one's the fast idle screw, and, ah, fuck, that's a Phillips. What you want to adjust for when your engine is cold. This is the circuit your engine runs on while it is cold. Turn it clockwise to in, in order to increase the idle RPMs here. You want it to run fast, right? Because it's, it's trying to warm up. Okay. I don't know how much of an adjustment that was. We will find that out very soon. Okay. Let's see. How well we did. Of course, this battery also kind of seems toast. 
I might have to jump it. Primed it plenty of times, so that shouldn't really be necessary. Neutral. Here we go. Oh, come on. All right. It's running. Oh, boy, it wants to die. Don't do it. Oh, that black smoke. Running like shit. Let's try to advance that idle RPM. Woo! We sure are smoking good here. 1,000 RPM. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be running at. Let's say 1,200. like a motherfucker. 3,000 RPM, that's crazy, fuck that. Even, I don't know, 2,400? Is that too much? I should probably look this shit up in a manual. That also seems high, so I'm gonna taper it down further still till say, 2,000? I mean, we're still smoking, but not nearly as bad. Man, that RPM went up again. This is fucked. Still seems fast as hell, and my concern right now is that choke isn't advancing at all. I don't know. Shall we go for a spin, maybe? Let's see. Sounds like it's running pretty nice. I suppose I should take it for a spin. And then once I'm back, uh, I'm gonna check out to see if that choke has opened up at all. Let's go for a spinny do. Man, those RPMs, I don't understand. It's like it's not, it's like it refuses to kick off the idle circuit. Oh, what the hell is this? I press my gas pedal and my... I mean, my brake pedal and the... <laughs> the fucking indicator's going on! What the fuck is that? Oh man, there's some weird shit going on here. Oh god, keep from shifting. Come on, fella. Let's roll. Shit, I'm too close to these goddamn bushes. God damn it. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm driving fucking out here. Alright, turn the radius, here we go. Fuck yeah. Alright, we're rolling. Running okay. Okay. Let's say that was a pretty successful test drive. That's a new issue. What the fuck? I press my gas pedal, I mean my brake pedal, and both the indicator lights come on. Literally didn't have this issue last time I drove this thing. Whatever, man. The choke looks like it has actually done its job. I mean, it is open. And these secondaries here, they're not kicking down at all. Which, is, which I find kind of strange. Well, maybe it's not really needed. 305 is not that big of an engine, I guess. Quadrajet can handle a lot more 
than five liters, I suppose. Problem is, I don't really understand the relationship between the fast idle and the idle that's on this side of the engine here. I mean, not that it matters. The linkage is, is not anywhere near where this screw is. in paradise cracking fuel delivery it is hard for me to ascertain right now whether the engine was running rough shot because there was water in it or because I had the mixture screws dumped poorly but at the very least we replaced that vacuum brake so that's that's one issue that's taken care of <laughs> in the next episode we're gonna dick around and find out why the fuck my turn signals are now activating when I press my brake pedal. God, that's retarded. All right, well, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. How to feed the cats. Hungry cats. Empty bowls. They want the good stuff. Oh, you're a good kitty. Why don't you eat too? You want hands. You've got a craving only. Hands can satisfy.